and welcome back once again to my channel. Today I have a very, very special guest here and he actually came all the way from my hometown. Um, it's Marcus and he brought his very own DIY LA2A compressor. So hello Marcus. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me here. And I mean, it looks really, really nice, like a classic 2A compressor. And of course the question is now, um, why did he build his very own compressor and not buy um, a 2A compressor? Yeah, actually I was always very interested in how these devices work. So okay. when I came across a group building their own gear, I thought, yeah, well, let's try it. And yeah. here it is. Um, where I, I mean, it looks really um, like the classic compressor. Um, you have all the buttons there that you would expect from the 2A compressor. Yeah. And of course, the question is then how it sounds. We're going to make a little bit of a comparison later on with acoustic guitar track um, that I have in Logic behind me. Um, both units are inserted on the console, so you can switch and mute um, between the signals. And we try to match the signals, of course, um, so you get a really nice comparison. All right. So what I'm really interested now is how it looks inside and um, what components Marcus um, used in this unit. So let's have a look inside. Yeah, let's open it up. Here we are. Okay, so now that's what a classic LA2A supposedly looked like. It's all point-to-point -point, uh, wiring via turret ports. Right. That's actually a, a very nice way to work on a gear because if you have all these uh, pre-designed boards, you PCP have to be boards, yes yeah. PCBs. You have to be very careful when soldering. Here you can do uh, do a lot a lot of easier. All right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we have a power supply over here. Okay. And the voltage board here that supplies all the other components with their uh, supp right. uh, supposed voltage. Then we've got the VU meter, VU meter gain reduction circuit here, uh, a linear uh, potentiometer to calibrate the VU meter mm -hmm. actually, so that gain reduction and output uh, display is uh, similar. Okay. Or at the Very best, nice. the same, yeah. And then we have the classic neon uh, bulb here. That's actually a voltage regulator. Ah, okay. It's been used in the original unit too. Nice. Um, and so where did you actually get all the components? Yeah, the group that I joined uh, has a manual for the unit. So you can buy the chassis and uh, all the knobs and things mm -hmm. like that. And uh, then you get the manual and there's a, a list of parts that you need to, ah, okay. to order. And then you can order it at Mauser, for example, for most of the resistors. All right. And Fantastic. Uh, so maybe let's look then also on the, um, on the behind of yeah, the yeah. unit. So let's, um, let's close it close again. It again. <laughs> All right, so we have turned now the unit around and um, it has an open back actually. Yeah, So like the original design. Like the ori original design, so the tubes are behind um, the unit and there are just shields to protect them. Yeah. So actually, how many tubes are there? There are four tubes. Four tubes. Yeah. All right. And you have an input transformer, SAUTER audio input transformer, an output transformer. Okay. You have the T4B cell. Yeah. That you could actually switch. Or maybe I can take it out. Okay. That's an IGS cell. Uh, one option, uh, a cheaper option actually, because um, the unit itself cost me around 1,000 euros all in all, plus building. So I decided to go with a cheaper okay. T4B cell. Uh, that's around 80 euros. Okay. And you could have these for 400 euros too, if you <laughs> want to. <laughs> Um, yeah, and here's the power transformer, and yes, input output XLRs. Very nice. And that's it actually. And there are the the emphasis, uh, the pre-emphasis uh, knob and uh, a calibration knob for a resistor that's inside. This, oh, so that's this in the pre emphasis back? is actually on the back. Yeah. Ah, okay. And the one on the front is the VU meter calibration. So is this screw. like on the original? Yes. Yeah? Ah, okay. I always thought that. Pre-emphasis in the front. No, 
Yeah. Okay. It's so, just in the plugin form. They have it on the front, of course, okay, because so you can't turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that um, looks actually really nice. Um, we're going to make now the comparison between my unit, the Clark Technic 2A. Um, it's, of course, quite cheaper than your version. And um, so we're going to hook them up to the console, and then we're going to see how they sound. They have the acoustic guitar track, as I said in the beginning. And we're going to try to, of course, match the level and have the same compression rate so you can really hear the difference then. Yeah. All right? I'm very interested in the outcome of this test. So, so let's get to it. All right, that's it. Once again, I hope you like this comparison. Um, I think that on the LE2A, the differences is quite small, actually. Yeah, I, I thought my feeling was, I know I, I don't know your studio that well, so I, I probably could tell in my studio, but my feeling was that the DIY is just a little bit more uh, 3D, as you would say, so a little yeah, bit more probably, depth. Yeah. But apart from that, it was quite stunning what, but what Clark is able to for do. For the price point, it's yeah. <laughs> actually ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but they do it. <laughs> yeah. um, so thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe. And maybe um, if you write in the comment section below what you prefer, the DIY version or the Clark Technic, or actually both. Um, I think we also post links for the DIY group where yeah, you got yeah, your parts and so forth. Yeah, yeah. All right, so thank you for being here. Thank you for having me here. And for bringing your DIY 2A. Yeah, yeah. And it was great fun, actually. I think yeah. we'll do a little bit more in the future. Um, you That's invited fun. me to your studio. Mm -hmm. We'll do a studio tour. And then we decided to do probably a drum recording tutorial. Right. And I'm very much looking forward to that one. Great. Okay. All right, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. See you.